Hi Nadia, I'm here at 53 Albion Road in Tunbridge Wells, just doing a gas safety check. Um, the reason I've got a video on this pressure gauge here is when I got here, the pressure gauge should ideally be set about 1.5, and just stay there, rises a little bit when the heating's on, um, was up at 3, beyond 3. Um, likely cause, well, the most obvious cause is this. This is a filling link. There is one check valve here, and if I go underneath, another check valve here. Basically, this, this allows water from the mains into the heating system. This one here was turned on when I got here, and this one here was also turned slightly on, which meant you had a constant feed, a sort of trickle of water feeding into the system, hence why it was overpressurizing. So the first thing I did, because you don't want an overpressurized boiler, obviously, is to drain out the, the water uh, from there to bring it back down to 1.5. And obviously shut off uh, this, what's called a filling link here. In fact, ideally, this should be removed from the system after it's filled. Um, but as I say, it's been overpressurized, and if we go outside now, you'll see further evidence of that. So as a result of it overpressurizing, goes out that red handled pressure relief valve out to this external pipe here and hence you can see water happily dripping down, been dripping down for quite a while, brown marks all the way down here. So your solution is you need to replace that pressure valve, that pressure relief valve, usually don't cost more than about £25. And I would estimate probably about an hour, maybe an hour and a half at most, because you'll have to drain the boiler down here, obviously. And then once that's put on, it's a good idea to disconnect this filling loop so that it doesn't overpressurize again. Um, where it's been overpressurizing, or it might have even been a problem beforehand, and the, and the um, engineer before me thought that you could compensate it by leaving a constant trickle on, which unfortunately doesn't really work, just results in the system becoming overpressurized. For the sake of an hour's job, about 25 quid, replace that, okay? Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's it, okay? Um, for now, I'm gonna repressurize it, but it's gonna still be draining outside because this is a faulty part. So the tenants are probably gonna have the inconvenience of having to turn this on if the boiler is knocked out by low pressure. A lot of combis are knocked out by low pressure. Some seem to survive happily um, on lower pressure, but, uh, but we shall see. Okay, bye-bye.